Gather round, intrepid souls, for I shall recount the chilling tale of Echoes of the Forgotten. In the heart of a forsaken town, where laughter had given way to biting winds, stood an ancient cemetery, a sinister reminder of a past buried by time. A group of friends drawn by morbid curiosity decided to explore the decrepit tombstones and weathered crypts that bore witness to the tales of the departed. As the group delved deeper into the cemetery, the atmosphere thickened with an unsettling energy. The air seemed to carry whispers of the forgotten, and shadows danced on the edges of their perception. Unbeknownst to them, a malevolent force stirred beneath the surface, waiting for unsuspecting souls to disturb its slumber. They reached the heart of the cemetery, an eerie mausoleum, its entrance adorned with an inscription that sent shivers down their spines. Undeterred by the warning, they pushed open the creaking door and descended into the subterranean chamber below. As they traversed the narrow, dimly lit corridors, the air became suffocatingly dense. Strange symbols adorned the walls, their meaning lost to time. Suddenly, a low, guttural moan echoed through the tomb, causing the friends to freeze in terror. With trepidation, they reached a chamber bathed in an otherworldly glow. In its center lay an ancient artifact, an ornate box with symbols matching those on the walls. The air seemed to pulse with an eerie energy as the box resonated with a frequency beyond the realm of human comprehension. Compelled by an inexplicable force, one of the friends cautiously opened the box. A blinding light erupted, and a chilling wind swept through the chamber, extinguishing their flashlights. In the ensuing darkness, their senses heightened, and they became acutely aware of a sinister presence surrounding them. Whispers filled the air, echoing tales of a forgotten deity awakened by their intrusion. As the group fumbled to close the box, the shadows in the chamber came to life, contorting into grotesque forms. The malevolent force, now unshackled, manifested itself as a spectral entity that loomed over them. Panic set in as the friends attempted to escape the mausoleum, but the spectral entity pursued them relentlessly. The air grew colder, and their breaths materialized in mist as the entity reached out with ethereal tendrils. One by one, the friends succumbed to the grasp of the supernatural force, their terrified screams swallowed by the tomb's unholy silence. As dawn broke, the mausoleum stood once again in ominous solitude. The burial ground reclaimed its silence, concealing the horror that had transpired within its depths. The friends, now part of the forgotten tales etched on the tombstones, served as a warning to those who dared disturb the slumbering malevolence of the ancient burial ground. And so, the echoes of the forgotten reverberated through the ages, a haunting reminder that some secrets are best left undisturbed, lest they awaken forces beyond the realm of mortal understanding. As the friends struggled to close the ornate box, the chilling wind intensified, spiraling into a maddening tempest that swept through the chamber. The air crackled with an otherworldly energy, and the walls seemed to pulsate with a heartbeat from the abyss. Desperation clung to the group as the malevolent force within the box fought against their feeble attempts to seal it. The whispers grew louder, coalescing into tormented wails that echoed through the chamber. Shadows twisted into grotesque phantasms, each contortion a reflection of the suffering etched into the very fabric of the mausoleum. The friends, ensnared by the unseen hands of the spectral entity, felt an icy grip tightening around their hearts. Suddenly, the crypt's architecture seemed to shift, warping into a nightmarish labyrinth. Corridors elongated and twisted upon themselves, leading the group in circles. Reality itself fractured, and the friends found themselves trapped in an Escheresque nightmare with the malevolent force toying with their perceptions. With each step, the air grew heavier, thick with a suffocating malevolence. The symbols on the walls glowed with an unholy radiance, casting ghastly shadows that danced to a macabre symphony. The friends, their faces contorted in fear, moved through the maze of impossibilities, desperately searching for an exit. The whispers turned into guttural growls, and the spectral entity manifested in the shifting shadows. Its form, an amalgamation of tortured souls, reached out with elongated tendrils that clawed at the reality around them. The friends, their senses assaulted by the otherworldly maelstrom, 
stumbled and faltered, their grip on sanity slipping away. As they stumbled upon a chamber deeper within the abyssal maze, the walls closed in, pressing against them with an oppressive force. The box, now pulsating with an ominous glow, seemed to exert its influence over the very fabric of the mausoleum. Unearthly moans reverberated through the twisted corridors, as if the structure itself agonized under the influence of the ancient malevolence. In this chamber, a mural of unspeakable horrors adorned the walls, depictions of the entity's past atrocities, each tableau more ghastly than the last. The friends, surrounded by the grotesque imagery, felt an overwhelming weight upon their souls. The spectral entity, now a towering monstrosity, loomed over them, its form shifting between the faces of those who had perished in its wake. The friends, gasping for breath in the oppressive air, realized the true nature of their predicament. They were not merely intruders, they were sacrificial offerings, entwined in a ritual to empower the malevolent force that had lain dormant for centuries. With an unholy chorus of voices, the entity reached its climax, and the ancient burial ground convulsed in response. The friends, now helpless marionettes in a cosmic tragedy, were drawn toward the spectral entity, their bodies twisted and contorted, consumed by the malevolence they had unknowingly unleashed. As dawn broke above the forsaken town, the mausoleum stood silent once more, its walls concealing the unspeakable horrors that had transpired within. The ancient burial ground, now saturated with the malevolent force's newfound strength, awaited the next unsuspecting souls to stumble upon its accursed threshold. And so the echoes of the forgotten persisted, now louder and more sinister, as the mausoleum claimed another chapter in its dark history. The townsfolk, oblivious to the terrors that lurked beneath, lived their lives in blissful ignorance, unaware that the malevolence within the cemetery had been reborn, hungry for the anguish of those who dared awaken it.